Welcome back to the adventures of Jilp number seven. I think this colony is going pretty goddamn well. We're in a good place. I mean, I, I can't think of anything in particular that's that's sort of an emergency that's very urgent to get done. So obviously we've got uh, the, the reloading benches ready. So that was one of our big concerns that we were very quickly running out of ammo there. We've got plenty of people capable of violent. We've got some nice rooms being built. Obviously we need a little bit more, you know, like, what is it? Cloth, cotton, um, and a little bit more stone for some of the rooms as well. But besides that, this is looking pretty nice, I think. So, what's the plan for this time around? Well, I want to get the multi-analyzer set up as soon as possible so that we can really start working on some of the more um, essential research. Like, I think water filtration would be quite nice. There are, like, things like gunsmithing, blowback operation, gas operation to give us access to different weaponry as well. Simple launchers. Might be kind of fun to just have some random guy at the back there with a rocket launcher being able to take out the larger raids. Because I think if we had a big mechanoid raid right now, we might be in trouble. Because I've been told that, you know, you need things like EMPs, you need things like armor-piercing rounds for those guys in particular. So, that could cause us some concerns. Now, one thing I have done is I've set Jilp to uh, prioritize smithing. Simply because smithing determines how many uh, how many bullets are crafted, or who crafts the bullets specifically. Um, oh, skill crafting work speed, smithing speed. Right, okay. Uh, that's not a big deal. So, we can just do that then. Because Jilp really has no job. He's been out intellectual by another intellectual like myself. Uh, <laughs> he's got... Basically, nothing else really that he's so specialized in besides construction. Obviously, there aren't always going to be construction jobs for him to do. So, I'm kind of happy to have him doing crafting. He's got a minor passion in, in it anyway. So, over time, if he's just, you know, crafting bullets all day or, or doing something along those lines, he will eventually grow into a very, very good crafter. And that fills another niche that we don't really have. We've got a lot of very average crafters with minor passions in that type of thing. But outside of that, we don't have anybody who's really dedicated to the craft. So, we're going to have Jilt do that instead. Now, I am building a couple more lights as well in here. Some of you have that we need a little bit more light. It would be better to light up the whole kill box because that would determine how well we can kill them dead. Um, but for now, that I think is probably fine. I, we haven't really got that many resources to waste anyway. Like steel, as you can see, is actually fairly limited. In fact, I don't think we've got any at all, do we? Am I blind? Have we only got we've only got three steel. Okay. Uh, and we've got more bathrooms to build, which is not ideal. So what we'll do is uh, continue on with this room. I'm actually going to turn that off. Um... Simply because, A, we don't have very much power anyway. Minus 666 watts. Well, that's cursed. But also, it was originally a food overflow. But actually, we've made the freezer larger. So that should be unnecessary now. And plus, we can grab a little bit more uh, steel here as well. So I think that's barely important. We've got a lot of miners going on in the colony. Like a lot of people who are very good at mining, I should I should say. Um, who have we got? So Setsuka, of course, 12 out of 20 is, is pretty fantastic there. So what is Setsuka besides that? The cook. Um, well, someone's already on it. Oh, there must be no more meals to make. In fact, maybe I should... Oh... Oh, I remember that stuff. We had that a couple of episodes ago, didn't we? This, what, I, oh, what was it, the end of last episode? I honestly don't remember, but this strange, shiny material um, that I'd almost entirely forgotten about. Sky Steel? Was it Sky Forge Steel? We're going to get Yorman Greymane on it. Thank you. Let's go and grab the rest of that and uh, see what we can do with it. So what exactly is this stuff? Weird iron-based compound found in a fallen asteroid, stronger than normal steel, but a terrible insulator. Oh, that's cool. Um... 200, so 110% sharp damage on that one. What does regular steel get? I need, a, I need like a baseline. Oh, we haven't got any steel to actually check the baseline there. There we go. Okay. Um, sharp damage. So it's very slightly stronger than steel. You can't use it as armor though. Oh, you can use it as armor. So it's 100%. I wonder if this would be better to save for armor in that case. Um, so 100% sharp. So it's 135.72. Whereas this one has 155.35. So it's much better against blunt. But slightly, very, very slightly better against heat. Now, the beauty is 200% on that. Beauty from regular steel is 100%. So, in terms of decoration as well, sky steel might be quite nice to use for that. But I think, you know, just getting them some nice armor wouldn't hurt either. So, Jilp, have you done all the bullets, my friend? Why is he not made? Oh, because we're out of steel, aren't we? We're observed by Grump. So, Grump is already on it. We've got a lot of, um... A lot of people stepping on each other's toes by the looks of it. So, what else can Grump do just to, uh... Just to save him doing that. Well, he's not even set to... Oh, he's set to smithing. I guess it must have been smithing then, even though it said it was crafting. Okay. Um, Grump is good at actually nothing else whatsoever. I'd rather Jilt be doing the smithing and the crafting, to be honest with you. Just because, like I said, it would help build someone up to be slightly better in the future. Have you really got nothing else you're skilled at? He absolutely does not at all. Tried training some animals, but that seems like more of an investment in terms of food than we have available to us right now. Um... There's no reason we couldn't build a second reloading bench or something. We'll just leave it. Let's not upset the status quo. Things are getting done. Like we, mind, we, we designate that steel to be mined. It's been mined. We've got enough food, quite clearly. Uh, 17 meals in storage. Do we have enough food then? Maybe I should adjust that somewhat. Um, oh, they actually can't cook final lavish meals. And you know what? I do need to adjust that quite heavily because we do not have... 
That's not enough meals for everybody. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people there. Eight people there. Okay. This needs to be changed pretty significantly. So we could go for something like... Man. Um, we could go for 240 meals. Which is 8 to 80 times 3, essentially. Um, so that gives them each 10 meals in reserve. That's a lot. That's, like, way too much. Um, let's just go for 80 so they've got 10 meals each. That only gives them roughly three days of food, though. Okay. Uh, I'll balance this a little bit more in between episodes. I won't worry about this too much. But we'll go up to 80 with Dowan. And then we'll unpause when they've only got each a day's worth of food. Is that fair? Two days' worth of food? So what is that? That's 32 meals. So let's do something like that. Am I, am I right in that? No, I'm not, but I'm just going to go for that anyway, because it's a round number. Okay, um, so that's that's good, and I'm just making sure they're all divisible by four as well, just to ensure that, uh, 32 divisible by four, don't make me, don't make me, yeah, no, it is, we're good. Okay, so that's fine, so let's copy those bills over to, uh, let's copy these and paste them into this workbench as well. That way we're going to ensure that we've got plenty of food. I'd rather the cooks be doing cooking and leaving some of these jobs open to Jill or, or the miners to be doing that instead. Okay, that's good, that's one thing down with, because I think meals are, actually, we're really struggling for food right now, huh? Um, well, I actually didn't think it was that bad. The thing is, we actually can't send people out to hunt manually because we don't know what's out there to hunt. I think we may have to do a drafted hunt with, say, Jilp. Uh, Jilp shooting is quite good. Who's our best shot? We'll send him out, well, more specifically, who has the cheapest ammo, I think, should be the better question here. So we'll send Jilp out on a drafted hunt tomorrow and go and get some food in. In fact, we could maybe take out that mega sloth. That would last us a while. Um, I didn't realize food reserves were quite as bad as they were. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how am I going to do this then? Let's expand the rice out a little bit. I mean, it, like, as I've said many, many times before, it's most nutritious but the most work. So let's build as much of that as we can. Uh, corn is good for the long term, but I may reduce down the corn farm a little bit and then exchange it for a bit more rice. Man, we're, we're running out of arable land as well. That's the only issue because we've... Uh, I mean, these winter, but they need, they've got to go. We've got to get something better than wind turbines in terms of end game power. Do we have any geothermal generators nearby? Um... No, that was a mistake, because now I'm somewhat concerned. Obviously, we need this land for farming. We can't get rid of the windmills, because then we've got no power to do absolutely anything else. I actually don't know what is good base game, uh, end game power, to be honest with you. Um, we've got solar panels, we've got geothermal generators, but beyond that, like, what else is there? There's no, like, um, it proves how long it's been since I played, essentially, what is base game rim world here. Um, I'm just going to type in power and see what we've got. Geothermal power, naturally. Electricity, feel like it's a bit late for that one. Yeah, geothermal power would be good, but not practical at all. Name the boom rat hooch. Uh, well, I mean, if you're feeling brave, I guess you could. Right. I guess just solar panels. We could just put them around sort of this area, sort of use up a little less room than the wind turbines. Although in terms of area, I imagine the wind turbines will make more power for the, the actual area that they take up. Charles proposed a lifelong commitment to Erica. They've been together all of a day, from what I remember, so that's um, that's fairly impressive. I'm not saying you jump in the gun or anything, but uh, maybe could have waited a little bit longer. Oh, it's because they're working next... Oh, no, no, wait, that's not... Wait, what's Charles? When did he even get a chance to do that? I have no idea. Anyway. Oh, man, the new stockpile's already filling up. I mean, that is only a good thing, I guess. The raids haven't exactly been particularly threatening, because I think our colony wealth has been very low. Obviously, everything's built out of wood. We've barely got any half-finished floors. Now we've got this many people, I think raids are going to be pretty hefty, along with the wealth as well. I want to know what this steel is used for. Maybe there's some specific use for it. There we go. Human meat is rotted right away. Honestly, I'm not sad about that one at all. That that's, that's not a problem. Man, we've only got 10 meals, huh? Yeah, we're going to have to expand the farms, I think, to outside of the walls. And that's not a problem. Don't get me wrong. That's not a problem at all. Because if we get a raid, obviously they can retreat inside the base if they are working on the farms. Long, long before the raids even get close to us. So let's reduce this one down a little bit. Because that's a lot of very convenient farmland right there. Let's put down a big old growing zone. Night. Can we do 10 by 10? We can do a 10 by 10. I'm going to do a 10 by 10 of rice. Um, then we want to do a 10 by 10 of... Let's see. Let's put like... Oh, man. This is... This is not ideal. Um... I mean, we could just cover as much as possible. So that does count as one contiguous growing zone. We'll just do that of, like, corn. It's not very much, because you've got to remember that's a lot of that stone, even though it looks quite large. It's not going to be too much at all. Do some more corn and rice. Now, what else could we put down just to uh, help sort of fill the gap? A little bit more of, I don't know, berries or something? We've got, I mean, the only thing we're not growing right now is strawberries. So, or potatoes, but again, potatoes are not that great. Um, let's go for strawberry plants in that case. What's, what's blaze bulb? 
uh, used in incendiary weapons. So I assume this is for for the tribal stick bombs, right? You might even be able to use it in in grenades a little further along as well. But I think for now, let's go for strawberries because food is a bit more desperate. I don't like expanding outside of our walls. There, we like I've said, I've said this before, but we could always expand our walls. You know, build it down the side of the river and build a big wall across. They'd still go through the kill box at that stage, so that would still you know work in our favour. I think we might actually have to do that. We might have to build a forward expansion, which isn't a problem at all. Um, in fact, it's probably long overdue there, so, uh, why is my screen flashing? Oh, it's a thunderstorm. My god, I thought it was going crazy, but no, it is, it is the lightning bolts. On speed 4, it's just so, you know, so sudden that, uh, it, it doesn't look, really look like anything at all. Anyway, that should help out a lot. I think that should solve a lot of our problems. Now, the issue is we've got a big old mega sloth here who's going to eat all of those crops. So, I think, shearing hooch. That's not, that's not what I expected to see when I was, uh, clicking on jump there. We'll let him finish shearing vooch. Uh, vooch? <laughs> no, but hang on, that's vooch. There we go. Uh, so we got one FSX, which I assume is some sort of propellant. I think people have said you need that for grenades or flamethrowers or something along those lines. Okay, uh, we want, need to do a drafted hunt. So, mega sloths are definitely nothing to be underestimated here. Um, Annie, do you have a weapon? Nothing. Um, okay, so let's move the, so the incapable one's down there. Jonah has, oh man, we just don't have enough guns. Okay, let's bring you over. I'm going to bring everybody over because these things tend to be quite tough. That will also give us a little bit of meat as well. So let's uh, move our boys. Excuse me, I need just the drafted. Excuse me, would you get out of the way? All right, let's do that. Okay, uh, line up. Oh, hang on. Let's put a bit of distance between us and it. Right, drafted hunt. And let's turn the speed down. There we go. Mega Sloth Revenge. That's what we're after. Erica, Erica, Erica. Run away, Erica. Nice. Okay, nothing to worry about then. I like that you see the damage on the walls as well. That's very useful. That's actually kind of cool. So we can see how effective like a rocket launcher or a grenade would be against granite walls. How many hits we can take from that before it completely gets out of hand. Let's go hunt some things. I think I think hunting these boys is probably not a bad idea. Finish those off. You boys can go and hunt some meadow arve or whatever the hell they're called. Let's get them over there. Right, and you can get that hauled. This is hopefully... I kind of want to maybe move the fine meals down the list a little bit more. Because I think that might be part of the issue is that I obviously got a little overzealous with the food here. So let's move the simple meals to the top. Lavish meals to the bottom. If we were in a bit more of a luxurious situation, we could afford to do that. I think we'll swap those out for now, just so that we can get a nice baseline food reserve, and then we'll worry about lavish meals and, and mood buff ones later on. Okay. If we could aggro the whole group of them, that would be kind of nice. Get a little bit closer. Okay, Meadow Ave Revenge, Mega Sloth Revenge. We should be able to take that out pretty easily. Come on. Oh, God, Jill. Jill, I hate to say it. There's a There we go. Nice. Okay, that was looking a little bit bad for a moment then, huh? Don't shoot the boomerang. We might want to tame those. Okay, let's get these. Oh, man, we've got a whole bunch of fishing mice as well. That's pretty useful. Okay, finish those off, and let's get them hauled back to base as soon as possible. Those things give a lot of meat, despite their size, as we found out before. Finish that one off. Hey, Charles, actually, uh, actually, help me out here, my guy. Right, finish off Mega Sloth. Let's get these done, because this is going to fix all of our immediate problems. Let's put it that way. Okay, get that. Uh, we'll never do hauling. Of course you won't. <laughs> of course you won't. Why would you? That that would be ridiculous. All right, let's also get these hauled. Thank you very much. Okay, that should solve a lot of the immediate food issues, along with also expanding the farm as well. So that's that dealt with. Now, I want to carry on with... Oh, I was going to say the electronics research, but apparently my boy Jonah there... Of course, Jill isn't the researcher anymore. I need to get that into the back of my mind. Between uh, Erica and Jonah there, they've basically finished that one up by themselves. So we want to get down... Well, there we go. Advanced, uh, advanced whatever it's called. Research bench. Um... High-tech research bench, that's what it's called. Do we want to put one of those down for now? And then worry about putting a second one later on? 250 steel is quite expensive. And we do have enough steel for one, I assume. We've almost got enough for two, if I'm wanting to mine the rest of this out. Oh, it's still rot-roof thin. Oh, that's overhead mountain. Okay. This is all rot-roof thin. So again, I'm being very careful with the infestations, because those things have been the one thing to wipe out my colony previously. Uh, or the main thing to wipe out my colony. So that's overhead, that's overhead. We could always just use the uh, this. There we go. Okay, so, so I'm going to brick up these bits, and I'm going to brick up these bits, and I'm going to brick up this bit. I'm going to be very, very careful with, about how we do this. And of course, you can see that we can't really dig the house out anymore either for the same issue that it's, it is all overhead mountain. I assume they could spawn in the river, but I'm not entirely sure about that. It might have to have a specific amount of room before they can spawn in. If anybody knows, please let me know, because if so, we'll have to build some sort of... Uh, we might have to build defenses across the front of the river. Now, I wanted to leave this open so that we could potentially build more w water mills. So, like, dig out a very, very small area and obviously put one of those there. But that might be a bad idea to right now, huh? Can I place in undiscovered areas? Why don't I dig out just, like, a very, very small area there? Was it, like, I, be I believe it was just there, but I might be wrong on that one. We'll, we'll double check. We'll, we'll be pretty, uh, 
effect about this. That was that was pretty bang on. Well done. Okay, so let's uh, take just a couple more blocks off that side. Put it under the water mill generator. Like I said, we're going to struggle for end game power here, given that we have pretty much nothing. Oh, my farms. Why would you do this, Randy Random? My god, the one thing. <laughs> they need food by the looks of it. Better blast their farms with a lightning bolt. Thanks. Okay, I'm, uh, we won't have to worry about that. It's raining anyway, so I'm not really too concerned. Okay, so this is going to be huge. This way we can start moving on to, I mean, I dare say it, power armor. That seems like it would be incredibly useful. Even shields. The, the, ever since I saw that shield, like, what, a few episodes ago now? That thing has always been at the back of my mind is maybe we could just outfit, you know. I'm not saying that we'll go for a melee build, but a shield plus a melee weapon for a high melee character seems viable. In base game remote, I would never do that in 100 years. I'd, I'd sooner equip them with a charge rifle or something. But in this, seems like it might have quite an effect. If you send someone with a shield and power armor with a big old powerful melee weapon, we might be able to do something quite good with that. Not connected to power, and that's the way I kind of want it for now until we can get this uh, this other one built. I think it's probably not a bad plan. I suppose we could open up a little bit of overhead mountain. I might be being too overcautious with this. I don't know. I say that, but if you've ever watched any of my other series, you'll know that, that I think two of them now, two or three of them have been wiped out by infestations. Well, that's how we lost Eagle Throog in the great insect attack of uh, the first series. Okay. Growing zone one is fine. So we've got this one is corn. I'm just double checking here. It can't hurt. So we've got corn, rice, and obviously strawberries. Okay, never mind then. I guess we'll all starve to death. <sighs> Randy random. So it begins. Okay. Um, that's really bad. That's that's really, really bad. We've got four meals left in storage. Which has been hit by a cold snap. My god. Um, we need a heater in there. Just as soon as possible. I think I want vents. We don't have enough steel to be building a heater in every single room. 50 steel, one components. Vents are only 30 steel. If we have to build two heaters in this sort of central room, I don't really mind too much. Uh, we don't need to heat up the bathrooms. They're only in there for such a short amount of time. They've got hot water in there anyway, so I imagine their temperature will be good. Let's do that. Jonah, the things you're going to have to listen to, my friend. Let's do that. Because it's already one degree in there. Like Their bedrooms are pretty goddamn chilly. Um, Man, what do we want to do with this then? A couple of vents through these rooms. There's already two heaters in sort of adjacent rooms there. So what I'm going to do is get another vent. And let's vent this through to here and then this through to here. And between those two, they should easily be able to heat up those. There we go. Right on cue. Oh, just as we were about to get the... Was that 97%? Are you kidding me? Just as we were about to get the final cotton harvest that we needed for all of these rooms here. That really does suck. So they are heating up, but it's still not enough, is it? Why don't we just have sort of a central heating system and connect up all these rooms? That way we can... The, the temperature will equalize. And if we just need to heat it up, we can stick down a heater anywhere in any of these rooms. And it will, uh, it will solve the problem. Okay, there we go. God, it's still freezing in there. Oh my god, okay. Um, We've got one heater, yes, but how about a second? Um, We'll just put them... I mean, I don't think it makes any difference, right? The thermodynamics of Rimworld, whether you put, a heat, like, three heaters next to one another. Obviously, in real life, you had three heaters next to one another. This corner of the room would be incredibly warm, and this area wouldn't feel it. But I don't think it makes any difference in Rimworld, because I believe the temperature just sort of uh, equalizes out anyway. I'm going to put that... I, I'm, I'm just going to assume that's correct. We'll put another heater just somewhere in here. I, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so those boys are going to start working on that, which is good. More power for the many, many heaters that we're now having to build. Which is quite unfortunate, but we don't really have a choice in that one, I'm afraid. All right, how much more steel have we got left is the real question. That's like, what, raw resources? This one? Uh, we have no steel. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Let's... Ooh, that's unexplored. Hey, man. What I need you to do is quickly just go and check this out. See what's actually behind that. Is it just more... Oh, it is just more rock. Okay. Um, Setsuko. Cooking for simple meals. I mean, yeah, I suppose that is a bit more essential. We've got enough meat now. I'm really, really glad we did that drafted hunt in hindsight. Okay, let's put the speed down a little bit then. Just where we've got some more immediate issues uh, having to be needed done as soon as possible. So what I'm going to do then is quickly cancel this crap. I just wanted them to mine those out so I knew what sort of area we had to mine in the future rather than have to measure it all out again. Let's go and get them to mine this out. Get a little bit more steel and get these heaters set up. I mean, how warm is it in the house? Nine degrees. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot, lot worse. Obviously, I don't really care about, you know, venting to the bathrooms. I think that's nuts. Research finished solar panel. That's good. Okay. Um, so let's just put them down wherever they'll fit. So it's 100 steel. Oof. Owie. And those are 83 components. I would rather try and wait for one of those. Because water mill generators are, like I said, like geothermal generators, only ever affected by... Is he bathing in ice water? So are those supposed to be like bubbles? Uh, genuinely looks like you're in an ice, ice bath, my guy. Well, at least your organs will come in handy later on, huh? Okay. Let's get this... Uh, let's go for speed four. Get that one done as soon as possible. Get these... Jump, I might keep you awake here so you can finish off some more heaters. Otherwise, everybody's going to complain. It's too cold. Well, maybe if you didn't lie in bed and actually set up the heats instead. 
You know what? When they stop going in or out, that's not going to be too much of a terrible temperature. It's certainly not going to be low enough for hypothermia. It's still not ideal. It seems to be equalizing about 12 degrees. So we're going to need another goddamn heater as well. Um, right. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> let's put one there. What about this room? They're 20 degrees now because obviously they're not saving their heat. That's fine. 21 degrees is about what you would need it to be. Um, 15, 14... It seems a little bit better. Okay, when they're not opening and closing the doors, it's not too bad, which would imply to me that auto doors might not hurt. Really might not go amiss. Uh, if you could get this done as soon as possible. Okay, we're, we're out of steel, so I'll let him go back to bed for a while then. Well, this, uh... Another, I, I'm not dying to another cold snap. I refuse. I, I can't handle yet another series over because of a goddamn cold snap. Okay, go and get that steel, and let's, uh, let's finish this off. Nice work. Okay. I have also, I should point out, we've got Runtime GC in the corner. For those of you who don't know what that is, why it keeps flashing. Ooh, it is cold. Camels. You could get butchered. That, that's basically just living uh, living meat there until we need it. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is. Uh, oh, man, we haven't got enough water either. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest with you. Um, but for those of you who don't know what Runtime GC is, it's essentially a program that uh, if you're running a lot of mods, or if room, room mode gets quite slow or something like that, you, this will uh, help you get back some memory. So I've been trying not to run it too much during the series, because A, we don't need it, because we're not running crazy, ridiculous mods. B, it does have some mechanics that you could consider cheating that I don't desperately need. So, for example, you can remove all filth in the home area, which will immediately clean up your base. And if you're on a slower PC, that will give you some notable sort of frame rate. Similarly, there's a... Ooh, this is good. There's the ability to remove corpses. I'll open it up and show you it a little bit. You can remove corpses, things like that as well, which I think is part of the gameplay because obviously getting rid of human corpses gives you a debuff and gives you some problems with that. So I think for for us, we shouldn't worry about that too much because that is you know part of the gameplay experience, part of the mood debuffs and that type of thing, and the filth especially. So for, for, for me, I'm trying not to run it unless it's necessary. I'm kind of doing it every sort of five episodes or so. Right, let's get you boys into position. I'm interested to see how we hold up now. I'm going to forbid that door. If we forbid that, that'll stop them going through it, right? It will. Oh, shit. They've got another way around. Oh, all the way through the river. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. Right, let's see. Are they attacking immediately? Uh, they'll prepare for a while, then attack. Okay, don't worry about that. You guys are just going to freeze stood out there. So we'll get them into position after we know that the enemy's coming in. And then uh, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not too concerned about this. I don't think this is too much of a threat anyway. Uh, like I said, every raid we've had so far has been... Not a challenge at all. Basically, they've been suppressed, and then someone's been shot, and then they've immediately fled. However, we've got eight people now, rather than three or four. I think four was our maximum on the last raid we had, right? We've got a lot of wealth. I imagine if we quickly go to the history tab, our wealth has gone up significantly since what was our last raid? Let's be reasonable. Manhunter pack, enemy raid. So our last raid was significantly longer. We had 45,000 wealth, roughly. Now we're up to 60,000. So we're expecting the raid to be at least, what, like a third stronger there? Um, not including the, the people as well, then. So that's going to be quite a lot. Okay, they're beginning their assault. So now we'll move into position. Again, this might still be way too early. I'd like to also, I don't know, we'll move this wall over a block. Or maybe move it over two blocks or something like that. And try and spread them out a little bit. I don't like them being stood immediately next to one another. Because obviously a, a bullet that hits still might straight up and hit man. It just gives them an easier target, you know. So uh, we'll try and deal with that. Charles? Ch Charles? Are you okay? Where was he going? No way was he actually going out to those farms. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, I'm going to be honest with you. Everyone else has nothing to do because of the cold. Just kind of worrying. What could we have them do? Um, what's a good background job if there's nothing left to do in the colony? Like, we can't grow crops. Um, we could have them stone cut. We could build just... We could honestly have them all researching. Even if they're crap, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than them just not researching. So, we could just put down, like, a bunch of different research benches and use that as our catch-all job. Come on, Charles, please. We might need your gun here, my friend. What's he got? I um, actually don't know what weapon he has. Let's take a look here. Um, oh, he's got the SKS. Ancient battle rifle. Fires an immediate rifle cartridge. Oh, an intermediate rifle cartridge. is in popular choice. Long-range engagement. Okay, so you could actually come in handy. Seeing as one of those guys has a shotgun, which is... Oh, there they come. We got a little bit of vision on them then. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, God, they've got a shield. Okay. Now, you guys said if I switch to full auto... We may just be able to rinse them. And now that we've got bullets coming in, I'm kind of happy to do so. Um, so we've actually only got one person with a weapon that, that does full auto. There we go. So it's you have to do enough damage quick enough. That's how it works. Whereas before, last time with Jilp and uh, whatever his wife was called, they've actually lit fires to the walls. Can you not do that? Jilp and whatever his wife was called, I can't remember. Um, those, Lucas, that was it. They weren't able to do enough damage. They were on single shot, which was my own mistake, but the guns just seriously didn't do enough. So I guess the shields recharge quicker than the damage we could do. So this should be fairly straightforward now, I think. She's got another shield, though. We're getting through it. 
I want to deal with that wall being melted, if we can. She's suppressed, which is fine, because we're not doing much damage. We need armor-piercing rounds. Oh, wait, you have armor-piercing rounds. It's not really doing a huge amount, is it? There we go. Hey, sweet. Okay, there's one down. Elena Lena Yaropolova. What are you good at? Uh, construction. Pretty jogger. You would be good to just get in the colony. 36 female as well. Okay. Can we hit the other guys? They're not coming around. Well, that fire went out by itself. I guess because of the snow or because it's too cold or something. What are they doing? Are they suppressed, maybe, from the, from the fire down here? We can see where they are because of their breath, which, again, the kind of defeats the point of the fog of war. They're not... They're clever. They're clever boys. They know about the kill box. Um, why don't we... This could be risky. This may be very, very, very dumb. Get in there and grab her. Oh, we forbid the door. Oh, we forbid the door. I wonder if the AI takes note of that. I very much doubt it does, huh? You, yeah, you don't have to go that way, my guy. Grab. Okay. Well, we can. We know that there's some distance. Well, there's one down. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe they're avoiding this area because her body's there. Okay, well, Pansy's coming in now, which is good. That might have been the case. I'm not entirely sure. Better when we've got less gunfire while he's taking her over. That also gives Setsuko something to do as well. Hey, Setsuko, if you could... Uh, I assume she's still got... She's got medicine in her inventory, right? And she doesn't. Oh, that's because Erica's the doctor. Erica, you've got some... Uh, you've got some medicine. Get over here. Let's get ready to heal this person up. I'd like to recruit them if you don't mind. This is a long-term engagement. Are they trying to, like, weaken the kill box? I don't really know what they're going for here. Maybe it's every time their shield gets weak, they, they flee? Man, this is like a war of attrition. We could chase them down, but obviously then we're going to fall victim to our own kill bots going through a very, very small area. Traps, in hindsight, would have probably helped out. So you guys were uh, you guys were bang on in that one. I don't really like traps. Again, we didn't have the steel for the traps anyway. We could have used wood, I guess. But uh, can you build them out of bricks? I would assume so. Why are you stabilizing? Just just treat her, for the love of God. I, was, I think that was me. I think I hit stabilize. Okay. She's fine. No immediate danger anyway. Right, let's get you. Uh, I'm going to preempt recruit you, even though we're still in the middle of the raid, technically. This is dumb. Um... Are we going to have to hunt them? I think we're going to have to come out from behind our little little kill box here and take them down. Because this is just not working. Are they, do their shields have a particular amount of HP or something? Um, steel ballistic shield. 83 out of 125. Okay, so they can only take so much fire before their shield will break. I'm going to go in. They've got, they've got swords. So they're going to have to really close the gap. Jill, where's your gun? Is he out of ammo? Oh my god, he's out of ammo. Um, do we not? We have more though. Why? Why is he not? Oh, inventory is full. Pick, just pick, pick up as many as you can. Then, how many can you pick up? We can pick up three hundred. Uh, does anyone want to explain to me why that hasn't worked then? Because I was very particular about my loadouts. Any ammo for RPD eighty. Maybe he just went through it all because he was on full auto. Maybe, maybe he literally just used it all up. That's probably more likely. Okay, uh, where's Charles? No, where's, where's our other where's our other fighter, Grump? I need to get you right here, my guy. Satsuko, what the hell are you doing? Nope. Stay away. Go back. Get out of here. Okay, here we go. Oh, dear. That's bad. What if we forbid that now? I assume it's not going to stop the AI. Okay, fall back to the second. Fall back to the second uh, embrasure. Jonah. Ooh, no. She's got a gun. Which I didn't anticipate. Get back behind the embrasure, my guy. Okay. Kill him dead. Okay, we got to reload. Should be okay. Though. That was that was nothing. And we baited them out so we don't have to keep playing that ridiculous game. Okay, come on. Knock that shield down. Take this pig. Wow. Uh, not That's not very really cash money of you at all. Okay, jump. I mean, There's not a lot I can do there, unfortunately. So we might as well do aim shot. And then I'm kind of happy to keep on full auto. Oh, God. The other guy's getting close now, too. There we go, they're retreating. They've got cover now, which is unfortunate. So we need to put like a sandbag, I guess, in this walkway and maybe not have a door there instead. Come on, please. There we go. Okay. That was not looking good then for a second, but that was pretty good, I think. Could have been a lot, lot worse. Right, rescue. Uh, let's get Erica in position, ready to heal them up. So we do have a hospital bed, so let's move you over. Do we, we don't need to stabilize them, do we? Uh, death in 12 hours. No, you're good. Well, I've learned something valuable about uh, management in regards to ammo. So, Jill, full auto just tears through ammo. I didn't expect it to go that quickly, but I suppose we only had something like 55 bullets left, didn't we? Okay, I need to bear that in mind in the future. It don't break down my doors. 
Get the hell out of here with that nonsense. Okay, let's, let's also capture Grump, capture her. Take her back to base. So when uh, the other person is, so when man is stabilized, we'll get Erica to move over and uh, get the other one as well. You're a disease and I'm the cure. We could chase him. Do we want to give chase particularly? I mean, if he's a good character, I guess we would. Right, let's see if we can't grab him quickly. Jill, why are you not reloading, my guy? Hey, re reload? Re reload? Excuse me. Oh, then you have to put the ammo type. Why did he not reload automatically then? That's very odd. Um, I'll get used to it. Don't worry. This is this is just the first time. The first real engagement. It seems odd to say this is many episodes in. It's the first real engagement we've had. Oh, Pansy died called blood loss. Who cares? Um, the first real engagement we've had with uh, ammo reloading, I guess. As weird as that sounds. Right, so quickly tend to. No, 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 no. Prioritize tending. Has he already tended them? Why? Okay, yeah, you can just tend to him, though. Already tending... Why is she getting more medicine? She's got three in her inventory. Has he got more than three wounds, I would assume? Um, no? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it takes more medicine. Oh, she's not using stuff out of her inventory. Is this what I'm seeing right now? Oh, God. Yeah, she's not using the medicine out of her inventory. Why? Death man. Wh why is she not using the stuff out of her inventory? Can I ask? What's the point of a loadout if she doesn't use the shit? I'm a little bit salty about that one because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, I assume both of our prisoners are dead as well. Well, goodbye, man. It was nice knowing you. I don't really know what he was good at, to be honest. Um, you know, he was on stone cutting, so chances are he was shit anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. But she can use the... What? <laughs> she can use the medicine out of her inventory on the prisoner, but not our immediate... I don't... I mean, it wasn't a higher medicine type. Someone's going to have to explain that to me. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I'm not too concerned. It was man, so we weren't... I don't, I don't think we were particularly missing out much. What was he good at? Just good at construction. Uh, he was okay at mining as well. Obviously, it is a loss for the colony, but I'm not super upset about that one. I'm a little bit just more annoyed that for whatever reason, she didn't she didn't do anything about it with the medicine from her inventory. But there we go. I guess that's just part of the learning procedure with combat extended, huh? Right, so let's get all of this stuff moved as soon as possible. There we go. I don't know how I feel about combat extended still. Maybe it'll grow on me, but I'm... I'm I don't know, I feel like it's quite fiddly. It, there's a lot of menu management, and there seems, seems to be a lot more micro than the base game, so we'll, we'll talk about that later on. Are you seriously taking man's body out to the... just just to the middle of nowhere, huh? Well, let's at least put it... give him a coffin outside. Um, let's go misc then. Yeah, a little bit annoyed about that one. I, I just don't understand why that happened, uh, and when it immediately then started working straight afterwards, especially as I undrafted it. That's the thing. I would kind of understand it if she'd already started getting the medicine to go and work on him, but uh, she was drafted... Then I undrafted her. For some reason, she couldn't just immediately start working on him. And, and obviously, when you when you draft and undraft them, it resets their job order. So I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it's, it's not a big deal, but I am slightly slightly annoyed by that. Okay, let's get his body into this stockpile instead, which I believe is already the case, right? Human-like corpses uh, allow colonist corpses, but don't bother with stranger corpses. That's just where they can sit until we can build them a, a coffin or something. No, you need to you need to not do that, my guy. Allow colonist corpses. Right, there we go. Try again, round three. No empty spot. Are you serious? Oh, because you can actually tick colonist corpses, but you have to also... Good. No, he still can't do it. Am I going insane? You don't allow fresh. <laughs> this game sometimes drives me mad. Okay. The, uh, the one thing I would love to see in RimWorld 2.0, if we ever get a RimWorld 2.0, the menu system is really fiddly at points, huh? I understand that it's to give you as much control and the micromanagement as possible, but my god, sometimes it is a little bit too much. Um, let's get you to haul that one afterwards. Sorry, Jonah, you're uh, you're taking the taking the hits here because you're one of the people with a slightly higher mood. How much food have we got now then? So the food is sorted. So I've I've got to give. Uh, let's go to the assigned tab here and give Job a bit more ammo. So they are on to Grump, Charles, nothing, nothing. So you need to just go on the generic bill. You need to go on the generic bill, but I will set him one up in between episodes. Because like I said, this is way too fiddly to do actually here. Ammo for RPD. I think it would be sensible for him to carry 300. Oh, that's way too much. Uh, 200? What is that? We're slightly over... What's the issue with being slightly over the bulk? I mean, it, it, I don't know if it, you're even allowed to go over the bulk, are you? Let's try 100 and... Let's try 100. Okay, so we're going to go slightly over 100. 
112. 113. Takes him to 19.9. We'll roll with that. That'll do. And that's enough bullets. Uh, I think it's just the case going on full also that uh, we'll ruin that. It's, cause he, it's probably because he's wearing so much garbage as well, right? It's like Dark Souls bolt management, huh? He can't. He, he would be fat rolling right now pretty, pretty severely. He's got his composite vest, his backpack, his tactical vest. Although I thought that allowed him to carry more. I don't know. Cold snappers over. Hey, that's good news. All it cost was the sacrifice of man. Which sounds very poetic. Way more poetic than it needs to. Um, so, we don't have a builder now. Or oh, we do have a builder. Why can't he build? Uh, someone delivering resources to it, perhaps? Oh, Erica is. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Go on that as soon as possible. We don't want to have colonists left unburied for far too long. Um, so, man, we'll set that one to... I'm very annoyed at myself. Clear all. Allow rotten. Allow fresh. And then we just go human-like. Colonist corpses. No stranger. Good. And then we'll set that to preferred, I suppose. And then we'll set that one to... That one's set to important anyway. So we should now be able to just go and bury him. Boom. Problem solved. Charles has got an infection in his torso. Because he's also not being treated, apparently. Oh, no. He has not been treated still. Why? Why are you not treating... Already tending to Charles. Citation needed. When did he get shot beyond that, my guy? Oh, well. There we go. Problem solved. He should be fine. I mean, it's just a minor infection. Let's get, let's turn up bed rest for Charles then. Here you go, my friend. Uh, you can have all the bed rest in the world if it means we're not going to lose two people in one raid because that was not particularly impressive. So, armor piercing rounds, I think, are fairly important. Get these camels out of here. No camels fucking in the living room. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's um, focus. I, th I think maybe build us some armor piercing rounds. Maybe it would case of, like I said before, having some armor piercing rounds, some hollow point rounds, blah, 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 depending on who we're being raided by, and then swap them out depending on the occasion. Uh, but saying that, we're already, we can't even give Jilp enough bullets for what he's got right now. I guess I am being very, very armoured with him though. So, it does kind of make a little bit of sense. Okay, so the kill box is good. We've got our farm expansion there, which obviously needs all completely replanting. But yeah, it's been very odd. I need someone to explain to me what the hell was going on with that medicine. So what I'm going to do is leave this one here. I will also start a second save of my own to just sort of mess around with that stuff on. And see if I can't work these things out, you know, outside of that. The, the documentation from Comic Extend, I will admit, is not super phenomenal. Um, short of watching other people play on YouTube, there's not a lot that sort of teaches you the mechanics here, but, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter too much, I'll, I'll experiment with it, obviously you wouldn't dive into a series like this not having used Combat Extended before normally, but, hey, I guess that's part of the challenge, let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place, I'm gonna give a big thank you to Justin Wallace, Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspired C, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Hey Dog, Jimbo, Josh Landine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Power Spressy, Sean Thornton, Smart Worm, Tom Terror 18, Bacchus Bacchus, Wolfson, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support, the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you for making this channel possible. And thank you for keeping me monetized, even when YouTube gives me the scraps. Did I say that yesterday? I think I've already used that one. Oh well, it's appropriate. And shout as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunkoni217, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Demar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Sir Thor the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support.